the interruption, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grayson Waters. Today I'm joined with Taylor Maine. And today we're going to talk about some controversial issues in the sports world. Um, starting it off, fifth year eligibility. Do you think that college athletes should be able to get a fifth year? Do you think they should just stick to four? What are your thoughts on that? I believe they should elevate it to a fifth year, mainly due for, to the fact that many players this upcoming year get that fifth year eligibility due to COVID last year, players opting out, right. and all uncertainties in that matter. Okay. I think it's time for a change, you know? Well, I disagree. It's been four years for so long. Mm -hmm. I think making it a fifth year is just kind of stupid because players can declare for the NFL draft before their, their senior year is even over. They can declare for the draft as a junior. So why give an additional two years? I can see where you're coming from that option, but it gives players more options and uh, really just gives a bigger overview for players to see what they want to do continue with their careers, but I do see the point coming from the four years and how it's been like that for so long. All right, I hear you, I hear you. Um, next, this is, this is always a heavily debated topic, best mascot in Florida. You have so many, there's the Gators, Knolls, you know, the Bulls, every single pretty much animal in Florida is a mascot, and there's so many debates on who's the best, they have competitions for mascots, they have all this stuff, mm -hmm. who's the best? You know, I think you got to kind of go, there's all these normal animals. I think if you're going to choose the best mascot, you got to go a little bit unorthodox with okay. it, you know? All right. And what better than Stuff the Magic Dragon for the Orlando Magic. Stuff the Magic Dragon. And I think, just in general, NBA mascots carry the game. With okay. The, the, the games they do on the core and stuff like that. And, I mean, Stuff had his moment a couple years ago when Aaron Gordon took the ball and slammed it yep. over him. That was his moment, you know? He's just fun and exciting. He's always running around at the Magic games. I feel like he's a lot more fun and better than just a like Gator or a yeah, Seminole, you know? I hear you. It gives more life to the thing. I agree. It's definitely better than a boring Gator or a Seminole or whatever. So this one is more of, it, more of a heavily debated topic in our school. So I know a lot of girl lacrosse players, female lacrosse players, and they're kind of getting into the realm of, oh, why don't we have the same rules as boys do in mm -hmm. terms of contact? And you play lacrosse. Yes. You know how sometimes hard the hits are, almost oh. as bad as football sometimes. Do you think girls should be able to play in those same stipulations, those same conditions as boys? It's, it's, I'm a little bit half on half on the topic. I do think that they should a little bit go, uh, I wouldn't say easier, but the refs need to lay off on the certain fouls they call because sometimes it's like, as soon as you touch someone, it's yeah. kind of like the flag on the play restarted. Yeah. Like, kind of kills the game yeah. of lacrosse. I mean, I've you, you can be running out there and get absolutely slammed, and you still have to play. That ball is yeah. still in play. Yeah, you got to so get that up and true. try and get fight for that ball. With girls, as soon as you hit someone, they just kind of call call the play yeah. and make it like a foul inbound. Or it's it's just not as fun to watch. And I know even girls lacrosse players in the school complain about it because yeah. they don't like to the, they want to be. I want it to be a little bit more manly, not such a yeah. wuss type of yeah, thing. Yeah, I know hear what you. I, mean? I hear you. And I definitely understand, like, calling fouls every play, it kills the momentum of the game. Personally, yeah. playing in, like, soccer games, football games, where there's a foul or a penalty every single play, it kind of it gets boring after a while. But at the same time, it's high school. Not every girl in high school is playing to be the best, playing to play in college, playing to play in the pros. They're playing more or less to get involved in activity or to have fun. So for them to go out there and get, like, laid out by a 6'4", 250 beast of a female, it's going to be, you know, pretty questionable. Then you got injuries and parents complaining and all this stuff. Yes, health is always first. Yes. So I, I, I agree. The moment, it's a momentum killer. But at the same time, high school sports are more of a uh, let me get involved type of activity rather than a let me compete to be the best I can. I agree with that. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'm Grayson. I'm Taylor Maine. Have a great day, guys, and we'll see you next time.